G'day folks, Scott here. Welcome to another video. Today, I am reviewing Dunkirk. Dunkirk is directed by Christopher Nolan. In my opinion, Christopher Nolan is right now the best, most reliable director working in the mainstream Hollywood studio system. This is a system that thrives on sequels and superhero movies and remakes and never taking risks. Now, I know Christopher Nolan has proved his worth. He has done superhero movies, although his superhero movies being the Dark Knight trilogy really redefined what that term means and changed the way those movies were made from that point on. But his entire body of work has been consistently great. Not all of his movies are perfect. Some stand out more than others. For me, definitely The Prestige, the first two movies in that Dark Knight series, uh, Inception, and now Dunkirk would be major standouts for me. Now, this review is going to be spoiler free. Uh, if you haven't seen any trailers, like I don't watch trailers, then just be known if you've liked his previous movies, you're going to like it. If you're put off by this because you think war movies may bore you or might not normally be your particular chosen genre of movie, trust me, you still want to see this. Now, a point in case would that be that my wife and daughter came with me to see this. My wife doesn't dig war movies. She never has. My daughter's never seen a war movie. Um, they were both like, uh, but my wife's like, like, I love Christopher Nolan movies. I've liked them all. I really want to see this. So the three of us went, they both loved it. They both weren't bored. They both didn't think anything about length or running time or anything like that. All three of us walked out of the cinema really, really happy with what we'd seen. This is not a traditional war movie as a war, a movie set during a war, but it's no war film. Um, so if you've not seen trailers and you don't want to know anything about this, then honestly, just go see it. Every from this point on, I'm not going to spoil the story for this movie, but I am going to show you know trailer footage and such and talk about a few basic elements from it. Uh, so there you go. Now, as with all of Nolan's work, it is just so well made. It is so beautifully crafted. The cinematography, the choice of camera angles, the direction itself, the acting, all the decisions made that went into telling this story were just superbly crafted. The music from Hans Zimmer, the way it wasn't a traditional soundtrack yet it built tension and emotion, the way everything worked together was just perfect. It was just a really, really brilliant movie. Now you would have, if you've seen any of my previous reviews, I'm normally shitting on something. There's normally something that pisses me off that I'll go on and on and on about. It's been two and a half days since I saw this thing now, and I still really do not have an issue with it. One thing that came up um, that there was a you know musical celebrity, I wouldn't say cameo because this person was in the movie quite a lot. I was about halfway through the movie and my daughter leant over to me and goes, that's a singer from One Direction there, you know that, right? And I was like, I did not know that. I recognized the guy's face, uh, but I would have had no idea what I knew him from. Uh, obviously, you know, actor-wise, you've got Tom Hardy in this, who's a pretty big regular in the Christopher Nolan movies, and um, Kenneth Brenner was in it as well. A lot of other recognizable faces, but not really big names um, that I can think of. Had I known the One Direction guy was in this movie leading into the movie, I probably would have had more of a negative feeling going into it. It's ironic that that fell on the same week that the fucking disgraceful cameo from Ed Sheeran was in Game of Thrones. If you're an Ed Sheeran fan, then so be it. I've got nothing against the guy's music or his musical career, but that cameo in Game of Thrones this week was a fucking travesty. They might as well have had like Grimace and Ronald McDonald running around in the background like attacking a coke machine. You know, hi, I'm Ed Sheeran and I'm going to sing just in case you didn't recognize me. Fuck you. But that wasn't the case here. This guy from One Direction was fine. Had I not been told who he was, he seemed just as good as all the other actors in the movie. This movie was great. It really was. I strongly recommend going to see it. I really don't have that much to say about it. I keep coming back to cinematography and camera choice. Sorry, camera angle choice. I'd love to see a 70 millimeter print of it. There's certain cinemas around the country and obviously around the world who are sh filming it. Uh, sorry, screening it in 70 millimeter prints. I'd love to see one. I'd love to see it in IMAX, but unfortunately there's no IMAX theater in my hometown here. Uh, all the aerial combat, like the Spitfires and just the camera work and there were special effects, but they weren't front and center. They were part of the story. The story, the fact that halfway through the movie, 
something happened where I realized where the story was going and the way it was crafted and the way it was put together and what everything I'd seen before that meant and where it was probably going to be going from there. And it was, it wasn't a twist, but it was a cool revelation. And I really appreciated it. And a lot of things that had happened earlier in the movie, I started like ticking over in my head, like, Oh, this means this and this means that. And it was very clever. It's probably going to be a short review because I've got nothing to complain about. This movie was incredible. Christopher Nolan is the man right now as far as that studio system goes. Like I said, you know, he can at this point make anything he wants. He's proven his worth. I want more and more films from him. Uh, It was great. Go see it. I'll be back next week to review War for the Planet of the Apes. I'm super keen for that. I really enjoyed the previous two, but I'll talk about that next week. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.